Welcome back. Claudette Johnston is one of the founding members of the Black British Arts Movement formed in the 1980s and is best known for her large-scale portraits of black people. Claudette's work challenges traditional ideas of black masculinity and femininity and, as she puts it, to tell a different story about the black British presence. After an almost two decades long hiatus from the art world, she's making her big comeback at the Courtauld, where she is now the first black woman to have a solo exhibition in the gallery's 91 year history. Simeon Brown went to meet her. Claudette Johnson's work, Subverting the Male Gaze, had references to Picasso and the Miles Davis album, A Kind of Blue. Her pieces are made at scale in pastel and paint. I realised that scale um, gave images a different kind of power and that working in pastels I could work at scale relatively quickly and I could make an image that people stopped to look at. That is what art lovers have been doing for 40 years. Claudette's eye-catching style started in the 1980s, but here there is a gap in time between her early work and the new. What was happening in your life in between those moments? I mean, I like to think of it as a hiatus rather than a gap. And also, I had, um, I had stacks of, well, not huge numbers, but I had stacks of work in my hallway that were not being seen, were not going out into exhibitions anymore. I wasn't being invited to show. But Claudette's work is back in the spotlight. The artist was born in Manchester to working class Jamaican parents from the Windrush generation. Claudette was prominent in Wolverhampton's Black Art Group, birthed in the Thatcher years. It was in this climate of uprest that the black collectives bloomed and raised the status of their art. I felt that we had stormed the citadel. I thought we'd, we were in now. We'd, we'd made our way into a major contemporary art gallery. And we were recognised and therefore things were just going to take off from there. But in fact, that's not really what happened. Things petered out gradually. But if black British art is a story of boom and bust, today Claudette is part of a renaissance led by black women, including Lubaina Hamid, Sonia Boyce and Lynette Yedimboache. Now Claudette is believed to be the first black woman to exhibit solo here at the Courtauld. Do you see your work as political or is that something that is almost branded onto the work of black artists, whether they want it or not? I remember the moment when we moved from calling ourselves coloured to calling ourselves black. It was a political shift in thinking. Um, and, and my work features, exclusively features, the black subject at this point in time and has for many decades. I do think the choices I'm making in the work could be, can be argued to be political, they are political choices, you know, to focus on black women, it's a, it's a political choice because um, I felt black women were at the bottom of the pile. Do you think that the, the social status and position of black women has changed, even in art alone, if you think about yourself, you think about Dubaina, you think about Lynette, voice, all of you now are getting your flowers, being recognised. Well, I hope it's a step towards that. I mean, I, I think once Swallow doesn't make a summer, I think we need to see much more consistent um, flowers, as you call it, flowers giving over a longer period of time with a much broader group of um, artists. Um, then we could start to say that things have really changed. Um, but there have been shifts, and that's, that's certainly a good thing. This is Claudette's most recent work on sale. This is an ode to the pulsating house parties of black youth culture known as the blues dance. Bearing in mind the memories that a lot of these paintings will have for people of black British heritage, there is a conflict that takes place when you know that this is going to belong possibly to very elite and privileged people whilst coming from and expressing the stories of you know, working class migrant communities. I think back to the days when m the, my collectors were my friends or my family and um, uh, you know th that was very satisfying knowing the work was going to them but it was it was not feasible for that to be the only 
the only way that it was collected because I wouldn't have been able to continue making. It just wouldn't have given me the resources to do that. Art can be seen as just as a practice, as, as elitist, but you have to know the language that you have to understand. And, that, and maybe the first step in reducing that intimidation is to see someone who looks like yourself producing work and also on the walls of the, of the gallery. For many, Claudette's recognition by the art establishment is long overdue as a pioneer who put black British women at the centre of the frame. Simeon Brown talking to Claudette Johnson. That's all we have.